Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who has been thinking about you today and why. Today is the 9th of September, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 7.12 p.m. And Sag, I'm giving away a free personal reading for a lucky winner once a week. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Sagittarius. If you've commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. Okay, Saj, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Sagittarius. What's been thinking about Sagittarius today and why? Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person. It's a general reading, so just state what resonates with you. If you want a more accurate reading, you can book me. All info is below. Make sure you subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Justice. Hmm. Okay, I feel like such. This is somebody whom could be thinking about wanting to take revenge. Okay, because the five of swords here is in love first. This is like someone who competes with you or your enemy your rival and they may have lost or they're afraid to lose to you I feel like again justice is like they want to do something serious now and the chariot here is in reverse they may be thinking like you you're blocking them from achieving something because it could mean success but it's in reverse they may have lost to you is somebody very competitive the high priestess i feel like this person is keeping to themselves all of the information everything that they're planning to do and three of pentacles in love first it looks like both of you don't get along or didn't get along um couldn't compromise couldn't compromise and two of wands they're indecisive right now they're thinking about the future as you can see there is a globe King of Cups and Verse. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely strong water. Can be any sign. Look, Ten of Pentacles here is in reverse. I would say be careful of this person, Sag. I don't know why your reading has been such uh, lately. Like, there's a lot of warning about somebody who wants to take you down, okay? Queen of Pentacles here is in reverse. It could be a Virgo Capricorn Taurus, but this could also be you. It could be embodying the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Like, this person wants to take you down and they just like three of wands. It's like, you wait, you wait and see. It's coming. So watch out for this person here, okay? They're planning something. They're secretly planning something. Let's see more. Because they're hurt through swords. Four pentacles in reverse. This person thinks that you made them lose something. And it hurt them. They're sad about it. But then the justice here again. It feels like they, they want to do something. Um, to them it's not. Maybe it's not fair. Whether it's fair or not. To them it's not fair. Let's see more. Seven pentacles. Queen of swords in reverse. The Tower in Reverse, Rule of Fortune. Ooh, okay. This person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is very, very revengeful. And even before the Queen of Swords came out, I already could feel, especially with this Justice right here and the Five of Swords in Reverse, that this person is a very vindictive or very vengeful person. So they may have been thinking about how to take revenge. Seven of Pentacles. They're waiting they're observing the tower here is in reverse. It's like a warning again, Saj. Like this person wants to destroy you. Can be a male or a female, okay? It's not gender. There's, there's no gender here. We've got the again, Wheel of Fortune. They could be thinking like, you know, I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to do something about this. It's just a matter of time.
Now that is like, you know, for those of you, I, I, I can see another storyline here, Satch. You just take what resonates with you. Okay, it's a general reading. The first storyline was this person whom I feel like, again, it could be somebody you work with or somebody who's very competitive. They're thinking about how to, again, bring you down, okay? Because something has happened between the two of you and this could be someone you, I feel like it's someone you work with, okay? However, if it's a romantic connection, uh, such. This could be somebody who wants a second chance, okay? Seven of Pentacles, perhaps waiting, observing, thinking about trying to make a decision, thinking about how to make it up to you could mean that as well. They're just waiting and observing. They're not actually taking any actions as of right now. And the high priestess is them just like keeping quiet, keeping still. Looks like you and this person maybe didn't get along, could be separated with the Three of Swords, had a towel moment, and ending. Maybe this is somebody you are holding certain grudges towards, or they may be holding grudges towards you as well. King of Cups in first, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Definitely somebody's feelings here are hurt, so this person could be thinking about you because they, their feelings were hurt, okay? Still, their feelings are still hurt because the Three of Swords is in an upright position, and this is why they just can't stop thinking about you and they could be in the midst of again making a decision whether to do something uh, moving forward with you and three of what's could be them longing or just waiting for the right time again to talk to you or to make a decision to ones hmm I just, whether this is platonic or romantic, I just don't see, like, both of you got along. I feel like both of you were maybe very competitive with each other. There's somebody who competes with you, okay? Um, you could still be, you know, um, I, rem I just remember um, my ex. He was very, very competitive with me. It could be a romantic partner as well. You may also work with this person you may also work with sorry about my alarm some of you may work together with your person whom you were romantically connected to or maybe it's just someone you work with this person is thinking strategizing planning four swords six of pentacles you may have been kind to this person or both of you may have shared something together workload i keep seeing is somebody you for most of you, like 80% of you, there's somebody who is very competitive, uh, may have something to do with work, business, money. Okay. They may be thinking about how do I make certain changes so I can make Sagittarius feel how I, how Sagittarius made me feel. Okay. I, was like, I feel like for 70-80% of you, however, back to romantic, the Wheel of Fortune, <clears throat> especially will be thinking about if there could be a second chance, through ones, they could be longing for you, longing to talk to you, they could be thinking maybe you don't want to talk to them anymore, you have changed the direction, like you're going somewhere else, you're doing something else, because you haven't been talking to this person, you've been keeping silent, you're not showing like you're cooperating with them, um, or you're not showing like you're invested. They may be thinking, okay, maybe this is too late, or is it too late? Should I reach out? Is there a chance for us to reconcile? Okay, Satch, this is your reading. I hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, all info is below. It's free to subscribe. Make sure you do. And also hit like. Don't forget to hit like. Um, try to interact with the video, with this video. That way, it will improve the algorithm. Um, the more it improves, the more readings I'll do for you guys. And uh, I'm also, I'm a rising Sagittarius, so... 
I love Sagittarius. Um, anyways, also don't forget to comment below. I love Sag or I love Sagittarius. If you'd like to be in a running to win a free personal reading with me. And last but not least, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. That way you'll be notified every time I post your videos here. Take care, Sag. Love ya. Bye.